Hi, I'm Pat Sloan. Welcome to my fireside chat here on Monday night. So today I want to tell you a little bit about what's going to be coming up because we have a lot of new sew-alongs for my fabric line, Bonnie Lane. I want to share with you uh, how that's going to work and show you what some of the fabrics are, show you the big quilt. Yay! I also want to do a little applique tip uh, for cutting away so that your applique is soft and I use the winter wonderland block that's uh, that we just had this week which was a basket block with the holly so in case you haven't done that yet but it's a really easy tip and let's see I just had some other things that I got that I thought were really cute and you have to so I had to show you, right? Because they're cute. <laughs> and at the end, you want to be sure to listen all the way to the end because I have a package that will go to one of you who leaves me a comment at my website. Not here, wherever you're watching it, unless you're watching it on my website. Uh, so if you're new here, thank you for joining me. This is my fireside chat where I just am very casual as if you were sitting across the table from me and we were having a, a talk. So it is that kind of a video and oh, let me just take a sip. I don't know what you drink in the evening, but sometimes it's really nice to have a warm cup of tea. You know, it's just really nice. You just sort of feel cozy, right? Feel cozy. So have you done this? I have to show you this. I probably showed you this before, but I'll show it again. It's a little block that I did with leftovers. These fabrics were from the uh, flower bouquet and they were from the sew and flip, the trimming. So I just made a little star block out of the trimmings, the points, and put a little border on it, stripe binding, and now I have a mug rug. So it's super easy to do that. Also, real quick, the snack chat. I found these containers, another one of them, but this time with crackers. These actually, Cheez-Its have to be one of my all-time favorite Cheez-Its and Ritz. I love Ritz crackers, Ritz with cheese, which with peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually bought some Ritz. So I have to open these up. Could take them on the next trip. See if they fit in the cup holder. I guess that's what they're for. Um, so I've got the rolling case back here because I had a super nice present come from Donna and I wanted to show you Donna thank you so much for sending this I hope you got my email that said that it came she sent me a darling bundle of fabrics that are all red nautical look there's a seagull okay let's open it let's open it this is so cute she also found this um, look there's ribbon and washi tape. Washi tape is just tape, but it's cute, right? Oh, look at these fabrics. With the all nautical. It's very hard to find nautical reds because nautical always seems to come in blue and aquas, but reds. Oh, and a dot. Look, there's an anchor on there. So darling. Oh, look at this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Donna. Lighthouses. This is so, this is a great gift. I really appreciate it. If you uh, if you've been looking at, I'll sh I'll swing it around over there. The the quilt, this quilt on the wall, that is my crush quilt, and it is all done in nautical reds. So it's, you know, I just love nautical reds. To do like a table runner out of that, I think that would be really cute. So we have sew alongs coming up. Yeah, we have things that are winding down, like. The um, Witch's Night Out is winding down. That's uh, we, We've been doing that one a week. And you've been really hustling because in order to get it finished, to be able to use it, you had to get it done. Uh, and I next this week, I will show you my small version of the of um, the Witch's Night Out with just mostly a single block of each. And then I think I added like two other baby pumpkins. And I have a layout for that, Fat Quarter Shop said it was fabulous they loved it and they did they helped me with um doing a final print so you can do a pdf layout of that uh, the beginner quilt along is uh still a couple weeks and winter wonderland which is back here on the design wall that we have like four more blocks but you should be doing your sashing because it's a lot of sashing i sewed that all together now there that that much of it and I will, I want to do the applique part and show you a couple tips for how I do my applique then. So other things that are coming up 
R. Let me show you this one. This I showed you. Uh, some of you probably have seen it. And I have, it's a trick or treat bag. Look how cute. I have gotten kits put together for this. So I use two of the panels. You get, you get a panel in there. See, there's a, the house on the back with the pumpkins, a little crow, look at the little kitty. And then on this side, I used this, the pumpkin with the kitties. And there's several other panels that come in this. And the kit has the fabric to do this. The inside are the dots. And I have, a, I asked to put a little extra fabric in there so that I can do two table mats because I thought that this was so, so cute. So I will have a tutorial on how to do the table mats to go along with this and a free a pattern to go for the table mats, you know, like little place mats. And this is all, I think it's like October 7th is the trick or treat bag, uh, so along. So you want to get your bag, you want to get your kit in advance if you want to do it like mine. The pattern will be free on on the on October 7th. I'll put the right date down on my website and down below under the video. So if you are new and you have, or if you just haven't done it yet, would you subscribe down, down there if you're on YouTube. If you are on Facebook, click over to YouTube. If you're on my website, click over to YouTube and subscribe. That way you always get a notice when this comes and then there's a little bell after you subscribe and click it. If you're on iProducts, iPhones, iPads, go to the web version of YouTube because apparently your apps don't show you things. So there you go. Get yourself organized for that. Okay, what do I got? I'm looking back here. Ah, winter winter wonder winter fun winter fun that is my next block wednesday which is this wednesday so if you haven't ordered fabric yet uh get cracking get cracking i am using these blues for winter fun and uh a darker blue will be my border and this is my background so Basically, you can use, this is a fat eighth, which each piece is half of a fat quarter. So a fat eighth. You can also use one layer cake. So I will be cutting all the shapes for the nine blocks for this sew along from a layer cake. So I know that any layer cake you use will work. Um, and you know, that'll be, that'll be just, you know, just fine. But you're also going to need the extra fabrics. So all of the the links will be to all of this for Winter Fun, which starts Wednesday. Black Wednesday is so, this, was that? No, not this Wednesday, I messed up. October 2nd, sorry about that, October 2nd. I gave my days mixed up. It has been, um, I've been a little crazy, crazy busy, not crazy busy, I'd hate to say busy. I always say, everybody says, ah, oh, I'm so busy. But, you know, it's my own doing. But basically, I've gone to thing, to thing, to thing, to thing, to thing. And so my brain is a little off on what week I'm in and what day of the week I'm in. So, sorry about that. <laughs> you, you have one more week and plus some days to get your fabric to do the Block Wednesday, which is winter fun. You don't have to do it in blue and white. Um, you can do it in holiday fabric you could make it a valentine's you know but the items the theme is going to be talking about winter type activities things we do in the winter for fun so nine different things and the layout and that's how that's how that one will flow along okay let me put this back here. i got my office assistant out today put this back down here in the office assistant okay so that one will run for 10 weeks, basically into, into December then. Um, but I also have all the Bonnie Lane sew-alongs, which are coming up. And I want to get those started, but before I talk about that, there's another shorter little sew-along that I'll be doing, which I don't know that I'll be doing all the parts of it, but I have, I'm on one day. So I'm one day, there's a, a new um, ruler. You know the Perfect 10, right? The Perfect 10 ruler that I'm using to do here, I'll get it. I have it all laid out here. You know, I'm doing the the perfect 10 ruler. I'm doing the swell blocks. See, I got them cut out. I'm working on them. Look at that. I've got these over here. These design boards are great because everything just sort of, look, I've got this really tilted and this just staying there. But anyways, the perfect 10 ruler now has a friend. It has a little friend, which is the perfect 5 ruler. 
Imagine that for charm packs. Ta-da! Oops, I'm get it right side up. So there's the perfect five ruler. And there'll be a sew along for this. You could either just, uh, they're, they're, um, Fat Quarter Shop is running sew along. And the fun part about it is they're going to do it sampler wise because there's X number of quilts, blocks, I mean, X number of blocks, and which are each a quilt in the book. Um, but they're going to also then do like make one block as a sampler. And I don't know if I can fit that in based on everything else, but I'm one day on the tour. So I will be making my quilt for to show you how easy and cute the ruler is using this new line called Crescent um, by Sarah Watts is the designer and this is the Ruby Society, but I love Sarah's artwork. Just love her artwork. So let me show you first, first I'll show you this because I got the, um, I got her panel too. She, I, I don't know, this line, I love everything about it, which is just, that happens sometimes. So here is her panel, which has this fabulous owls, this super cute sewing machine. Let's see what else, let me just bring this up. It's got the unicorn and the great big bear. Do you see him? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then there's all these little ones. You can use these as labels. Oh, here we go. See, you could use these as labels for other things. I just think they're the neatest thing ever. So I had to get the panel, put it over there, but I also had to get this. Oh, oh. look, 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 look. This is a um, little oversized lunchbox. So it's more like, it's made, they're made like metal lunchboxes, but it's a tote. And there's the back side. But this is so cute. I had to have, so I don't know what I'm going to put in here, but I thought I'm going to put something in here that I, I'm sewing on. And it might be the handwork, my, hand, my, my pollinate. I might put it in there. So here is the fabric that's in the charm pack. And my um, quilt that I'll be doing with this ruler is really darling. I've forgotten the name. They all have like food names, but I've forgotten what they are. So here's this deep, deep turquoise, which I think is why I like it with that hot pink. Then there's some peach. Then there's this purpley color, which is so cool. There's those flowers. More aqua. Then there's a white in the line and some pops of orange with some gold. There's some gold on that one. Get a little bit closer. Then there's a deeper sort of blackish navy. I don't know why I love this line so much, but I do. There's orange like the back of the tin. There's a light blue in the series and white. Oh, there's some more. There's the bears. Look how cute that bear is. So what I'm also thinking here, let me get this panel back, is that I have, uh, I've been talking about this. I've probably mentioned it several times now and nothing has happened on doing what I keep saying I'm going to do. But does that happen to you? That's like, I keep saying, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Um, I have a new great nephew and so I was thinking of taking the pan, the animal panels, not the sewing machine. I'm going to keep that. I think I'll do a tote bag and put the, put this on there. Um, or a little wall hanging for my sewing, my studio here. Yeah. But that doesn't need to go to a little boy. So I'm thinking of taking the other three, the animal panel, you know, the rabbit, maybe the unicorn and making a little baby blanket out of those. So there's a, actually a pattern with uses all of those, but because I don't, I want, it's too big for a baby. You know, I like it though, but it's not what I want to make for a baby. Okay. What else? Let's talk, let's talk about the Bonnie Lane Sew Along. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll do, yeah, then I'll do the demo. Okay. And then we'll probably be about wrapped up. So Bonnie Lane Sew Along, I have three projects, a table runner, a pieced quilt called Glow, and the big, big quilt with the big houses and the applique called Drive Down Bonnie Lane. So there's Drive Down Bonnie Lane. And this is actually a pattern written by my friend Barb, who is Coach House Designs. And Barb has been creating patterns uh, for uh, lines for designers lines for years and years and years so many of you have done Barb's patterns before but many of you have might not have done Barb's patterns so if you're not she has a totally different uh, writing style than I do and so when we do 
drive down Bonnie Lane. I will do, a, you know, it's going to be a sew along where I'll show you the parts as I cut them out like I do and then some of the sewing process for the, the for the patchwork. Uh, so, um, because if you're not, it's, you know, it's always takes a few, a, you know, a little bit to get used to a new writer's design, I mean, new design. Oh, a new designer's writing style. So I will help you out by doing some visuals. Um, so you'll have the pattern. But let me show you Drive Down Body Lane. When I approached Barb and said, would you design a quilt pattern to go with my fabric line? She asked me about the fabric line. What was it like? What, what did I want to achieve with it? You know, sort of what was the feel of what was going on? And she just nailed the design. It is so perfect and the cute per, the quilt is so cute everybody i had this with me at baby lock and i've had it with me the last few events that i did and everybody loves it so let me let me try to stand here and hold up because it's you know it's got huge giant houses here's here's one of them uh and so they're they're quite big I'm sitting here, so you can see how big the houses are. You can see how big the trees are. Here's my arm, right? So the, they're really, really large houses. They're super cute. The uh, clothesline, let me show you the clothesline. I just think the clothesline is amazing. Let me pull this up so you can see me. There we go, that's better. All right, so here's the clothesline. It's got, come on, Pat. It's got three little dresses on it using all of my Bonnie Lane prints. Aren't they cute? They could be aprons, they could be dresses. I just think they're darling. It's got great big stars and some smaller stars to go along. Here's the other house. Ugh. Okay, so there we go. I think you can see it. Yeah, so there's the other house. And they are, they're big, they're big houses. And the bottom then, oh wait, on the other side of the house are the little are the little quilts look at that look how cute they are so the miniature quilts and I will give you sort of an alternate for the quilts so that if you don't want to do such small patchwork although it is so cute when it's done you will want to do it but if you don't want to do small patchwork I'll show you an alternate uh, quilt to put on there and then the best part the car the car because you can't drive down Bonnie Lane without a car uh, this car I just can't believe she, she used the blue because I must have mentioned that my grandfather pop pop had a blue car and my grandmother Nana referred to the car as her blue bird of happiness and so the car is just like oh, I just love the car so this is our one so long and that one will start in November the other two will start sooner okay but that one will start in November because I want to get the other ones kind of underway and uh, then we'll add that we'll add that in which means that you know I think we'll do I'm going to I did I did put out a note uh, like a little schedule I'll link to it but they these uh, Bonnie Lane ones are mostly being done every other week you know rather than uh, at least that one is every other week Okay, the first one we'll do is for a table runner. And this is, this is what the table runner looks like. I, ha I have not made it yet. We'll make it together. But the fabrics, I pulled from my fabric, so this is not what the kit looks like, but the kit is all cute and folded up nicely. But this is my fabric that I pulled off my stack. I'm gonna have the light blues, the gray, green, the medium blues, and it really is cute. I have a digital picture of it. So what we'll be doing is making the blocks together, and there's just four blocks. So they'll be really fun, won't take a whole long time to do, and we'll do this one first. So that way, um, for those of you who wanna do both the table runner and a lap quilt you can we can do that you can do the table runner first we can just kind of get all warmed up and then the next thing will be the pieced lap quilt which is called glow and there's a kit for that uh, which is the same block with different fabrics and i'll do the sew along or run with that one and then we'll start um and at the same time then glow and drive down bonnie lane will go on at the same time because 
uh, you know, if you're doing both of them, you'll have something like every other week. You know, I mean, every week, one or the other. It'll flip back and forth. But I think some people are just doing one or the other. So that should work out great for you and for me. So a lot of fun things. Let me do a demo now. If you have questions on the sew along, I, you know, leave them in the comments and I will uh, answer them. I have to do the project page still. That is for later this week after I do some other things that have to come first. I will do the project page for the sew along, which will be my fabric page. I will get it updated with everything that's going on. Okay, here is Winter Wonderland. It's actually called Sleigh Bell Sampler from the Winter Wonderland book, which is, let's see, let me get out of here. I have, I have my container that's got the whole project in it so that I can always know what's going on. I've got like even the decorations when I do the pictures, they're in here, see there? And the book is in here. And I'm going to get all of this out so that I can do the demo. So here's the Winter Wonderland book. And we created a kit, the Fat Quarter Shop and I created this kit where all the fabrics are very similar to the cover. So the end result is going to look like a very similar quilt, just not, you know, not the exact same fabric, but it is so cute. So Sleep Bell Sampler has a bunch of parts, and what I want to do is show you how I set up the applique. Because uh, I like to do it a certain way, which makes it soft, and it's really nice. Whoops, there's the back. I also have all of this laid out in my Teach Me an Applique book. So there you go, you, you know, if you want to see how it works and you want to reference it, it's all in here. I've got it step by step. It shows you what to do, just like that. Okay, but let's take a look at, I'm talking about the holly on the basket. So if you didn't do the basket yet, I'll show you how to make this soft so it's not stiff because basically the fusible is going to go under the rim. All right, I have got my tools of the trade, my scissors that I like, pen, got a sheet of heat and bond light. This happens to be the kind that you can run through your printer. And then my fat the fabric. So let's uh let's go trace here. Get you in a little closer. All right. So you can see the shapes under the paper quite easily. Oh there's the circle. I'll get down here kind of in this V where I'm falling off the table. So I've got the, my Ulfa mat there to keep me from going off the table back here. All right, so I'm just going to do one of the holly. You're gonna just trace it like this. And then like here, I didn't get in far enough. So I can just go back like that. I'm just drawing. And then maybe I wanna do this so I know which line I really wanted. And then I'll go ahead and do the circle, which is out here. And I don't believe circles have to be perfect because circles in nature are not perfect. So unless I were doing something where I was striving for perfection, I like to just trace naturally. Okay, these have to be separated because I'm going to do the holly in green and the berry in red. Okay. Now that I have them, right here. I'll put the book to the side and then I need my pressing mat. So what I've done is I've got one of the wool pressing mats that I like to use and over here I have got my iron which just reaches. Is it hot? Yeah. So let me set it to the side because the cord is not that long. So first let's look at the green. We're fusing on the back and in, we, we must first remove uh, the inside fusible because otherwise this is called donating or window method. So what I'm gonna do is cut it here and I wanna trim around. So I'm leaving less than a fourth of an inch. Basically it's a basting line and I want to think about my stitches will go over top of that. 
So here is what I'm not using and here's what I am using. So now I could, I can see, let me get you a little bit closer. You can see the images here. So I could put these little sort of squares like straight on there or I could do them angled like this, which I like. So I will press from the opposite side of the, um, the, the cut and then just for a couple seconds and that's it. Then after that you cut on the line let me get this out of here so I can easily cut it. So now I'm cutting the final shape and the final shape is on the line and this is will be this is raw edge fusible applique and your stitching then will cover up the you know the stitching will hold it down and it will cover over the fusible and there you go that's what you have. Now when I'm doing the circles and then here's what it looked like you know, so it came, came out of there. So when I'm, when I'm doing the circles, I do cut the middle out just because that's the way I am. I don't like to have the middle in there. So I will cut the middle out and then I can very easily see what to fussy cut. Do I want to make like the berries like this, or do I want to make it more just red? Do I want to have maybe just the lines like that? So I think the berries are cute. So I will do, move this leaf. So I'll just do one, two, three. That's pretty much all you need. And then I would cut this out and I would have a little circle with the berries on there. And that's uh, how I do this applique, fusible applique by machine. It's all really um, nice and soft and makes all of your work feel great, particularly when we get to doing the big, when we get to doing this quilt, drive down Bonnie Lane, whoops, <laughs> you're definitely going to want to cut away because these houses, these trees, all these are, I mean, the trees are huge. They're, they're like this big. And so we do not want them to be full fusible. It'd be nice for them to be soft. Okay. I now want to show you a da, 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 little giveaway. Yeah, I have something uh, from one of my friends. I want to show you and then a few other goodies in here for this one. So the uh, Rachel Rossi, there's the back of her card, Rachel Rossi Designs. She gave me some of her new things, which are fantastic. She has this super cool a set of templates. They are really, they're two parts. So you can see like there's these, this wedge, like this really skinny piece and then this wedge. Here's one of her patterns where you can just tell now like that makes that, but they are really nifty. They've got a no, you know, a no slide backing on them. And then she has a bunch of other designs that also use them. So I just think, wow, they are really cool. So I have those plus a few other goodies. Yay. Have a bobbin saver because we all can save the bobbins. This is what I use all the time. Have a little uh, handle wrap that you could put around like a rolling case or anything you have really if you just want a little bit more cushion. Somebody I think told me they put it like a handle of what would they put like their teapot or something like that like well that works and then I have a charm or not a charm this is a swatch set so it's one piece of every one of my Bonnie Lane it's not a full charm pack it's just one of each and then I have this you know what this is this is a little kit to make the April table runner I taught these when I was out at Baby Lock to the dealers um, and I have a few extra kits so I thought oh, I'm just going to give one of them away. I, there is a pattern so I do have the pattern sheet. It's pretty easy and somebody will get this all in one. All of this goes to one person in the package. So you need to leave me a message at my website and leave a comment telling me 
I think. What did I say? <laughs> so telling me what you love to do for fall. What is the thing for fall that really makes you excited? You know, like to kick fall off, do you um, make a pie? Do you go hunting, for, you know, go apple picking? Do you get out your fall decorations? Do you have a particular fall quilt? Um, do you like to do, you know, maybe it's football games, you know, like tailgate parties or something at home. You know, what is it? Do you make chili? Chili for me is a fall food. I just saw that somewhere. It's like, not pumpkin spice, it's chili. <laughs> That's, I would agree with that one. <laughs> so that is what you're going to tell me at my website. And I just uh, love chatting with you. Thank you so much for joining me and jumping in here every Monday night. And if you're watching it on the later in the week, thank you for being here. I will see you online and we'll, uh, we'll have some fun.